today I'm here with a new video and today I'm here with a face-off and this face-off is with Alex the Alchemist. I really hope I pronounced this right, that right. And this face-off concept is created by Danielle Schmidt. I will of course leave her channel down in the description. And I love this idea. I have done a lot of face-offs and uh, now it's time for me and Alex to do one. And we are doing it with the Modern Renaissance from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is a palette that I don't use that much. Even though I should because it's a pretty expensive palette. It looks like this. And we have chosen five colors. And this is a little bit strong for me because I usually don't do this normal makeup. And more, most colorful. So the colors we got is... Golden Orc. I don't know if that's the right, correct pronunciation. Vermeer, Buen Fresco, Burnt Orange, and Red Ochre. Oak. Sorry. So I am just going to start to do my makeup and tell you a little bit how I found Alex. And yeah, I think we'll just get into this face off. Okay, and I am sorry if I look a little bit red in my face, but it's so hot. Summer came back. So I'm going to start with Buen Fresco and put it in my crease. And yes, my window is also open because I need some air in here. And me and Alex, we have actually done a collab. She was a part of the Eevee evolution collab that I did we were it was nine of us and Alex was one of them so I I don't know how long I followed Alex but it is a pretty long time and one thing I I guess the first thing I noticed what was that she has amazing hair and she has an amazing hair color and an amazing haircut. And also, that I like about Alex, she has her own style. Both in like makeup, in hair and in like clothing style. And I think she is pretty cool. And she does some videos that I do and some videos that are not makeup related and sometimes I like to watch other things than makeup related videos so yeah I really think you should check Alex out because she's super cool I have done a free looks one palette with this one did I say that? it's like the heat is getting to my brain and it's stopped working I think it was my first Free Looks One palette. I am not so happy with that video, but I will leave it up here if you want to check it out. But yeah, I have done one. Okay, so I will go in with Golden Orc. Maybe should have checked out how this is pronounced before this video. And I'm going to take this on my whole lid. And I don't know if this is going good with the Buen Fresco. And this palette, I don't really know what I think about it. It is not a good palette, not at all, but it's not like something super, super unique. Unique. I think it was it when it first came, because the formula is so good. This one and the Soft Glam is like the same. Uh, I think maybe the Sultry and Norvina as well, I don't know. Like the subculture is pretty dry and people hated it, I love it. I think the Sultry, no, <laughs> subculture and Prism are pretty similar. And this one and uh, Soft Glam. So the quality is definitely there, but it's like... I think before like all these indie brand came, Anastasia Beverly Hills was like 
the top of the top because they do amazing shadows but nowadays it's not that special anymore and then I will go in with red oak it feels like this look is going to be so fast and yeah and I thought that this was going to be easy for me but it feels like this is hard for me because it's like I don't know what to do when I don't have fun colors because I want to do a fun makeup look but it feels like I can't when I don't have any fun colors and it's going to be so fun to see what Alex is doing because I feel that he's going to do something so cool with these colors that I am like these are boring <laughs> I'm sure that she's going to do something much more fun than I am but that's like I have now when I am more into colors than I was like a year ago I think I lose it when it comes to these like more normal things because then I I don't know it feels like everybody could do this everybody could do with colors as well but it's just like a different feeling and I guess that's why I'm not doing like this so many neutral look because I don't think it's so fun. I like never watch any makeup videos where there isn't any crazy colors. I follow like <laughs> one person I think that doesn't do... It's one person, <laughs> one makeup channel that I follow I think that don't do crazy colorful makeup or just colorful makeup all else that I follow do so maybe I don't even feel inspired because this is I don't know I really hope you understand what I mean because it, this is a little bit of a struggle for me maybe this is strange to feel a struggle with like this palette and when I do like a palette bingo with a super colorful palette and get like blues and orange I'm like I don't do this I don't solve this but now when I have like these normal colors I'm like I don't know what to do so, okay I go in with my crease brush again with no additional colors and just blend my crease so I will take away the fallout fix my base and my brows and then I will be back and we do the under eyes and we have two colors left burnt orange and this shimmer vermeer so I'm going to fix this and then I come back. So the face is on and I'm going to do the under eyes and I will start with burnt orange this one and this is actually one of my like <laughs> favorite shadows. This is also in the soft glam and I really really like this shade. So I'm taking this on my lower lash. And I actually think that I will go in with some of the red ochre, just a little bit on my lower lash, so they look a little bit better together, so they blend in a little better. So like that, and now we have one shade left, and it is the Vermeer and I don't really like this I like the Primavera so much more because this Vermeer it feels pretty similar to my own skin tone so sometimes when I put it on I'm like this was boring but I am going to take this in my inner corner and really hope for a little BM so I will spray this It doesn't like give, I, f I feel that it's because it is so similar to my own skin, it doesn't like pop in my inner corner and now I got some glitter in my eye, some shimmer shade in my eye, but yeah okay I will put on mascara, something in my waterline and something on my lips and I will take something from Anastasia Beverly Hills, I just have to figure out what so I will fix that and then I will come back. 
so this is the finished look for my wash line. I used Wonder Pencil from NYX. This is Light Claire. This is just like a nude ish liner. And for my lips, I took Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lip in Ashton. And I like this lipstick, but I always think that it is that it is so brown, but it's not super brown on the lips, so I don't know why I don't use it more. But yeah, this is my finished face-off look with the Modern Renaissance together with Alex, and it's. I think she's going to do something really cool. I. This is not a bad look. This is not a fun look. This is just a look. I don't really know what I think. What do you think? And I'm sorry if you came here and was like, ooh, is she going to do something fun and colorful? Because no, I was not. But I really hope you like this video and don't forget to check out Alex. I will of course leave both her channel and her video down in the description. And I think that <laughs> we should help Alex to 1000 subscribers. She deserves it so much. So don't forget to check out Alex and subscribe to her and say hello from me. So yeah, that was all for this video. I really hope you liked this. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do. And I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!